Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm super excited because I'm going to be trying a few different indie brown products. I have nearly a whole face so uh, yeah. Um, before I get started I will say I'm not sure if you can hear my fan in the background but it is so hot here today that I can't have it off. So if you can hear that I do apologise. Okay so the first thing I have to try is from Refai and it's the brow pencil. I have the shade medium. It looks really tiny. We've got a tiny little brush on one end. So I will brush what few brow hairs I have just so that I use that. <laughs> um, it's a nice little brow brush. I can't really comment too much on brow brushes because I don't have much in the way of hair. This is super fine tip. So let's have a see. So obviously I have a lot to draw in. Oh, well, okay then. This seems to be working pretty good. I probably could have done with the darker brown but not bad not bad I would definitely use a pomade and this but just for just for the purpose of this video I thought I would just try this on its own and I'm not mad at them not mad at them okay so I'm just gonna quickly nip off and prime my eyes with the P Louise base in rumor 02 just because I don't have a new one to try Okay, so my eyes are primed in the P. Louise base in Aroma 02 and I have this new palette to try. It's from Rasha B Cosmetics and it's the Nile palette. This was a gift from my beautiful friend Darcy and these are the shades. There's only the one matte in there so I'm going to put this through my transition area etc. This is called Cairo. This is a brand that I haven't tried before, so I haven't tried this formula, I don't know what I think of it, but I love this shade and I love that they're all kind of the greens. If you know me, you know that this is, yeah, my happy place, greens, and so I'm just going to be I'm taking that right the way through the transition area and crease and then blending it up and out. And it's building up nicely, it's not blending itself away. I do find that most eyeshadows perform well over the P. Louise base. So I do try, if I'm ever trying new eyeshadows. I do new eyeshadows, new formula or something. I do try to use the P. Louise base just so that I give them all the same chance. And this shade is pretty, really pretty. I'm just going to blend out the edge of it. Not sure if that's my ring light flickering. I think it was. Um, this is beautiful, the shade. Absolutely beautiful. I'm blending it right up and out. It's obviously being the only the only matte in here. kind of has to do everything I 
think that is my ring light flickering. Well, apologies if you can see that. Hopefully it's not going to be too distracting, too annoying. So if I don't use the ring light, I'm not going to have enough light to film. This is built up beautifully. I like that. Okay, I'm loving how this is looking. And that's only one shade and it's the only matte. So judging by this map, I like the formula. And I'm first going to go into Luxor, this shimmer here. And I'm going to use that for the outer part of my lid and kind of as my deepening shade. We'll take the cat hair off that. So I'm going to take this right out in this kind of outer area of my lid. Cat hair. There's cat hair everywhere. If you have cats, then you'll you'll know the struggle. <laughs> well, this is lighter than I thought it was going to be, this shade. But I'm not mad at that. That is really pretty. That's a really pretty shade. It just blends perfectly into that map. I like that. Chop it off a bit. Again, that's built up beautifully. It is more your classic style shimmer formula. But that's beautiful. Okay, that is so pretty. So for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go into Nile. Shade here. This looks absolutely stunning. And oh my word. Oh. Oh. That is beautiful. I think you're seeing it as green. It's a, like a green to blue, or blue to green. Like gold in it as well. So now I'm just seeing gold. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh. Oh, guys, seriously, look at that. That's so pretty. Ooh. I hadn't even swatched this palette. I've just been waiting to film with it. Because I wanted it to be like completely first impressions when I did try it. Oh my word, this is stunning, the shade. Nile. So this shade has the same name as the name of the palette. That is beautiful. That is so pretty. Oh, that is beautiful. I do have a liquid eyeliner to try. This is from Charmacy Milano and it's the shade 903. So this is a shifty one. So let's... Oh, I'm super excited to try this. This is another brand that I haven't tried before and it was also a gift for my beautiful friend Darcy. It 
it's a very flexible brush so you've got to be careful not to kind of press too hard or it goes everywhere Okay, that's beautiful. I'm loving how that's looking. So I've just quickly nipped off and popped on the P. Louise Block O'Clock Primer, just because I don't have a new face primer to try. But I do have a new foundation to try. And this is the Sculpted by Amy Connolly Second Skin Dewy Finish Medium Bu Buildable Coverage. I have it in the shade Light Plus 3.5, so I'm hoping it's a good match. But we shall see. Okay, so it's a pump top. Come in. Are you coming? Hello? Oh, here we come. Okay, so it's fairly thick consistency. I think this may be a bit dark. Ooh. Let's see. Oh no, I think we'll be all right. No, we're going to be all right. Okay. I'm using my um, Glam Shop foundation brush, which I use all the time, just because I think this applies foundation nicely. This does look to be going on beautifully. I have got, obviously, the Block O'Clock primer on, which is slightly more matte more matte finish which i do like to have under a dewy foundation a more matte primer generally okay well this is what it looks like on the skin and there's my untouched side I think that looks really beautiful. It's got a natural, natural looking finish. Okay. Just say it's like got a dewy finish, which I personally love. does say buildable coverage so when I've got this on I will go over a couple of the areas where I feel I could do with a bit more coverage I probably could go a shade lighter looking at it next to my neck This does make me look like I've got a slight tan. I'm not mad at that though. I'm not mad at that at all. Okay, well my skin is looking pretty nice. I'm just gonna take a bit extra over like here where I could do with a bit more coverage. Okay, yep. Yeah. Definitely does have a buildable Audible formula that's brought up nicely. Yeah, looking at this as it settles, it's definitely a bit, a bit too deep. Yeah. That's okay. 
we can make that work. Yes, it's got a really beautiful finish. That looks so nice. Can you see that on the skin? It's got a really nice dewy finish. Okay. I just feel like it dries a little bit. Okay, well, so far, I'm loving this. If it still looks like this in a few hours, I will be happy. So, I do have a new powder to try. It's from Trigwell Cosmetics. It's their setting powder in the shade Translucent. And I do have the Mini Puff. So I will use their Mini Puff to apply. So I'm just going to put the lid on and give it a shake so that we get some powder in the top there. It's just got some powder in there. And then taking the little powder puff, I'm just going to kind of dip it in and then press, press the powder in. that does give a really nice finish okay that looks beautiful okay i am absolutely loving my base this powder gets a huge thumbs up i look flawless okay so i'm just going to do the under eyes so going back into the nile palette i am going to first go in with pyramids shade here and i'm going to take that on the outer part of my lower lash line Put my hair out of the way oh, pretty that is pretty i might bring that all the way along actually and then use the other one but in a corner Oh, that is beautiful. And then the last shade I have to try is Sphinx, which is this one here. And I'm going to use that on my inner corner. So this one seems to be slightly flakier, but that's okay. Oh, okay. That is super bright. Oh, that is going to look amazing all over the lid. What a beautiful shade. I love how that's looking. Okay. I'm going to nip off and do my mascara and lashes. I do have some new lashes to try, but I'm going to do them off camera. They are from Unearthly Cosmetics and these are the style Eternal. So I'll just go and get that done and then I'll be back to continue with the rest of the face. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, guys, so I've just finished off my eyes. I used the Be Perfect Lash Out Mascara and that's just in the shade black and then the lashes are the ones that i showed you before from unearthly cosmetics in the style eternal i think these look absolutely beautiful um in my waterline i went in with one of the made by mitchell all smudge no budge liners and this is in the shade pink drink and yeah again i think it goes beautifully so Next up to try is from P. Louise and it's Dream A Little Dream face palette and I have the Style Receive. 
and I love this packaging it's so beautiful and then let's take the plastic sheet out we don't need that and this is what she looks like so I'm going to be using the contour from this and then I will more than likely use this highlighter but I do have a blush palette to try also so I won't be using the blush from there so let's go in with this contour shade there. Ooh, that seems like a pretty good contour shade for me okay yeah it is oh i do love p louise products definitely one of my top brands that's looking nice i'm just using that to give myself some better cheekbones <laughs> And then just contour my nose a little bit. This is a really good shade for me. I like. I picked this up from their TikTok shop. I don't know it was uh, marked down in price. I can't remember what it was marked down to, but it was marked down in price. Um, this is a beautiful contour for me. Ooh, a little bit more. That is beautiful. I love that. And I'll go back into there for the highlighter in just a moment. But I do have a blush palette to try, and it's from It's Bell Cosmetics, and it's the Besame, Besame blush palette. And this is what she looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to go in with Megustas, this one. I think that's going to go really nicely. With this look, oh, yeah, that's a really pretty shade. Tucking off because I'm not sure how pigmented this is, it does appear to be pretty pigmented. I'm only very lightly tapping in and then tapping the brush off. Try not tapping the brush off, yeah, it's got a decent amount of pigment, but I think I'm gonna be okay. That's so pretty. Yeah, I can just dip in and pop it on. It's not too pigmented. I don't have to be too careful. This is really nice. What beautiful shade. that's pretty that's really pretty okay so only tried the one shade from that so far but i think that looks beautiful so going back into the p louise dream a little dream receive palette and i'm going to where am i i think actually i'm gonna try using this one well, let me just swatch them both yeah i think i'm gonna go yeah i am gonna use that top one that's pretty that. that is really pretty 
and it's definitely building up so you can go with a light hand and get more of a, a natural glow that I'm I like to be seen in space that is beautiful bit down my nose and I think actually I'm gonna go into the other highlighter the one at the bottom and just use that to highlight my brow bone yeah that's pretty cool okay both of these winners um so finally i have to try this is from beauty for certain which i believe is a, a american wrapper I, I believe it's her brand and this is the matte liquid lipstick in shade hashtag 50 this looks like it's going to be stunning this is also a gift from my beautiful friend darcy Ooh. Okay, I am um, loving how that's looking. Okay then, so let's have a quick rundown through everything. I'll show you have a closer look at the look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. So let's just run through a few of the things that I tried. <laughs> okay so first up is the refi brow pencil um in the shade medium i think this did a really good job it looks really natural um personally i would have gone for a shade darker i wish i'd gone for a shade darker but i think i think it looks really natural really beautiful it was really easy to use so yeah pretty happy with that um the eyeshadow palette, the Nile palette from Rasha B Cosmetics. Well, I love the packaging. You've got the pyramids there. How beautiful is that? That is so sweet. And this here is the color story. Um, I would have loved to see a deeper matte in here, but I think it would have needed an extra shade on the end. Um, but as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous especially this shade here which in some lights looks blue in others green and then gold it is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning I'm obsessed with this shade beautiful and the matte blended really beautifully yeah really really cute little palette and looking forward to trying more from this brand definitely the eyeliner the Charmacy Milano eyeliner in the shade 903 um, this looks absolutely gorgeous it's a gorgeous kind of purple to green gold shift and yeah I just I loved it it was really easy to use um, the brush is very flexible so if you don't want to make a mess everywhere you have to go in light-handed um but yeah absolutely gorgeous i think it looks stunning the sculpture by amy second skin dewy finish foundation this made my skin look so beautiful it really does look like just dewy skin 
yeah I'm hoping it's gonna last all day still look the same if it does then I have another favorite definitely because I love the finish of it um, the powder Trigwell Cosmetics the setting powder shade translucent um, it just gave me a flawless airbrush finish it was beautiful um, the powder puff the little puff that's super soft and yeah I just think it did a great job yeah could have another favorite powder there also the lashes from unearthly cosmetics and star eternal I think these look absolutely gorgeous I'm loving them the fluttery beautiful very happy um, the P. Louise Dream a Little Dream Face Palette in the Style Shades Receive. Um, obviously, I've used both of the shimmer shades, like the highlighters and the contour. This contour is a really beautiful contour shade for me. And I think both highlighter shades were absolutely stunning. Obviously, I haven't tried the blush in there as yet, but... I don't doubt that it's going to be beautiful and this packaging just looks so luxurious I love it it's like a pillow the it spell cosmetics blush palette the Bessemer blush palette I love this packaging I love the lips um obviously I've only used shade me gustas um but all of these shades look absolutely beautiful. That performed really well. I'm looking forward to trying the rest of them. Um, it's the first thing I've tried from It's Bell Cosmetics. And yeah, so far pretty impressed. And then last but not least, we have the Beauty For Certain Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hashtag 50. I think this looks beautiful. I. I can barely feel that I've got anything on my lips and I just love the shade. I think it looks stunning. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel too drying. Yeah. What more can I say? I think we did pretty well. Pretty well. So out of almost a full face of indie brown makeup, first impressions, overall I am super, super happy. I, yeah. I love the look let me know what you guys think um so that's about it for me for today thank you so much for watching and spending this time with me i totally appreciate each and every one of you if you are new around here and you like what you see you like to see more colorful makeup looks more indie brands then please do consider subscribing come and hang out with me i would absolutely love that and yeah Again, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and hang out with me. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Stepping in the spa like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Of the city with the party always getting praised like it's sunday she said baby what you gonna do about it